So if I had to buy something from both of these brands, I would rather skip. I would not buy anything from these brands. Ready? Mm. Now uh, the models that we have today is the Axor Apex, and uh, from MT we have the MT Revenge 2. Now let me start uh, saying that uh, I have owned both the helmets. I have had good experience of both the helmets. Now the first problem that I had with Axor was the paint quality. The paint was peeling off um, and that was the first issue that I faced with Axor. The second one that I had was the wind noise. According to my shape of my face, I had a, a very bad experience with the wind noise. Now let's talk about the good things about the Axor helmet. The first thing was the padding. The padding is very superb. It's very good quality and uh, yeah, for this price point, the padding that they are giving is amazing. Um, other than that, another thing I felt was the spare parts like the visor, the, the padding and uh, cheek pads and even the vents. These are easily available at a very good price, very cheap price. So I think uh, if you are getting this helmet, try to get this only if you think that uh, it's fitting your skull very nicely uh, because a lot of users have complained about the wind noise. Now what can be an alternative to buying an Axe or Apex helmet? Well there are many models from LS2 uh, like the FF352 that you can get also. They will have a little bit less wind noise. But other than that, Axor is giving you a double D-ring and a dual visor at this price. So I think it's a very good deal. But again, buy it only if it fits you properly. And maybe even try it out your friend's helmet if you're facing wind noise or not. Coming to the MT Revenge 2, it cost almost twice as the Axor. And uh, I got this after Axor only, be only because I was facing a lot of wind noise. And uh, there was some inferior quality paint in Axor helmets. But the same thing I faced with MT as well. Uh, the visor of MT, it, it cost twice as the Axor. But believe it or not, the quality is horrible in uh, MT Revenge series for some reason. I don't know why. Because the previous MT series, they were imported ones. And I'm not sure from where these are coming, but trust me, it's not of the best quality. The padding is not that great as well. Talking about the spare parts, uh, MT owners can relate that the spare parts of MT is not easily available at all. The only thing that looks good on this helmet is the shape of the helmet that fits me very nicely. But uh, I had to get this custom painted because the original paint, it was peeling off. It was not up to the mark. There were I was getting very, very number of uh, large number of scratches on the helmet. I mean, obviously it's up to the owner as, as well. But uh, if I compare it with Axis helmets that I had in past, the visor quality of Axis is way better than this one. So if I had to buy something from both of these brands, I would rather skip. I would not buy anything from these brands. As of now, uh, I would rather go for something from SMK maybe or uh, another brand, LS2. You can get LS2 or KYT. So there are many alternatives. But if I compare it just specially with these brands, I would say, uh, from budget point of view, Axor is a game changer. But uh, in today's time, if you if you are spending 9.5 thousand to get a MT Revenge 2, and if the paint quality is horrible, and if the the visor is getting very very uh, large number of scratches easily, so I would rather say avoid getting an MT until unless they work on their improving their quality that it was years back. So. Uh, for some reason it's degrading so that's all for today i just wanted to share an awareness video regarding these two brands if you have any other questions if you want to do me to do any other comparisons uh, please share in comments and i'll be happy to help so see you again in the next video